A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 to 20. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. At the bottom of the mountain they were met by a crowd of waiting people. As they approached a man came out of the crowd and fell to his knees begging, "Master, have mercy on my son." He goes out of his mind and suffers terribly, falling into seizures. Frequently he is pitched into fire, other times into the river. I brought him to your disciples, but they could do nothing for him. Jesus said, "What a generation! No sense of God, no focus to your lives. How many times do I have to go over these things?" How much longer do I have to put up with this? Bring the boy here. He ordered the afflicting demon out, and it was out, gone. From that moment on, the boy was well. When the disciples had Jesus off to themselves, they asked, "Why couldn't we throw it out?" "Because you are not yet taking God seriously," said Jesus. The simple truth is that if you had a mere kernel of faith a poppy seed say you would tell this mountain move and it would move there is nothing you wouldn't be able to tackle the gospel of the lord Reflections on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 to 20 Moving mountains was an expression used of rabbis who were skilled in interpreting scripture and resolving difficulties Moving a real mountain must have been so dramatic in the time of Jesus but today it is not so If you want to move a real mountain hire a bulldozer Moving mountains is not a big problem. Any problem that a machine can solve cannot be such a big problem at all. There are much greater ones at the personal level. No machine can help us there. It requires a greater and more subtle power. That power is the faith that is lodged in us. It is a power greater than that of a bulldozer. Sometimes certain misfortunes that threaten our lives wherein the material or financial securities remain useless force us to turn to God as the final refuge. Today's gospel takes us to one of such situations. A father is in pain to see the sufferings of his son. He had tried all possible treatments for his son but without any cure. Even the disciples of Jesus could not offer a help for the child. Reaction of Jesus at the failure of his disciples shows a sense of frustration and anger because Jesus does not want his disciples to remain helplessly staring at the mountain. He had taught them numerous times they could move the mountains provided they have a little faith. In fact, He had given them the power to heal the sick and to drive out the demons when they were all sent on the mission but now they remain helpless. Matthew's point was to emphasize that God accomplishes what seems impossible through the hands of those who believe in him provided they remain close to and trusting in God. even a little faith can accomplish much when we are connected to the source of power the authority of god the lord does not want us to turn to him only in situations of need it is our experience that when we are confronted with mountains of problems for which we cannot find a solution We turn to God and expect God to perform signs and favors for us. This is the wrong way of approaching God. We look for God 
only when we need him but god looks for us all the time